So switching gears a little bit, you were very famously one of the architects of the AOL Time Warner merger. Now AOL has just purchased Huff, the Huffington Post. What do you think of that? Well, if you live long enough, you have delicious ironies. Um, of course, Time Warner was basically a content distribution company, and AOL was a digital service company. And putting the two together was in, intended to uh, put a internet injection into Time Warner. Didn't exactly work out that way, but the intention was, uh, I think, really significant. And to this day, uh, our legacy media companies are continue to wrestle with how you make that transition. And so you lived through the bubble that we, we've seen in retrospect of 2000. People are calling this a bubble now, drawing a lot of parallels to 1999. Do you think we're in a bubble right now in the startup world? I don't think so. And uh, the reason I say that is it's so dynamic now to build a company and not spend $30 million on consultants and, and advertising and not sure that you have any revenues and, uh, and have a tremendous valuation. I don't uh, put aside the private valuations for Facebook and Groupon, just as examples. You have companies that are starting because of the technology and the cloud that for a couple hundred thousand dollars, you can not only start, but you can have a visible product that can tell you very quickly whether it has traction as a consumer uh, product or what's the user experience. And, uh, you know, we have kind of a system of financing that kind of takes people along. But it's not the wild amount of money that was thrown at companies that simply had an idea, no revenues, certainly no cash flow. Any predictions? I mean, you've sat in the middle of so many of the changes in the news business. Where do you think things are going now? This is kind of a dream we had that uh, the internet would deliver the, the library current and past of all information and that people would have access to the source material that uh, an article would never close. It would always continue because the comments would come in. So uh, I think the opportunity for the expansion of knowledge is tremendous. I think the problem is uh, it's hard for and I'm not crazy about the phrase legacy companies, but where you've gotten your revenues from print or television advertising, and they have sustained the kind of product that you've turned out, it's just hard to turn that around and look at, well, how are young people getting their information? Um, but I think it goes back to this question of, injecting into particularly print journalism uh, a lot of energetic young uh, socially social media savvy savvy research technology oriented and see how people are consuming uh, and and to build on you know mobile apps there's some way of delivering journalism I think the, the big question is how do you pay for it mm -hmm. And uh, will we ever reach a time where the consumer will pay for it?